Hello and welcome to Cambustion. I'm here to explain our entry-level fast hydrocarbon measurement system, our FID50. It's a single channel only, uh, the three metre heated line, and is designed to be measuring pre or post catalyst hydrocarbons and a variety of other mobile applications. A heated sample line is required to ensure that you don't get condensation build up in a sample capillary and to ensure that liquid fuel is evaporated. We heat this to 191 degrees Celsius. In addition, we have span and bypass flows here, which flow calibration gas down to the tip of the probe, which means that it can be calibrated in situ. So I'm now going to take apart the optional sample filter. This has just been used for some cold start work on a gasoline vehicle, so we'll take it off to inspect how much soot is on the filter paper. It's quite clear there's a fair amount of soot on there. The previous configuration with a heated line was designed for wet combustion gas applications. For other applications such as hydrocarbon tracer gas measurement and wind tunnel, you can use an 8x16 tube. Again, a filter is optional. For this 2 metre sample line here, we would expect a response time of around 6 milliseconds. So now I'll show you the rear panel. Here we have our mains power in, our RS485 communication that goes to our laptop and two analog outputs. One will be raw analog output at 500 Hertz and the other is filtered down to 10 Hertz. We have our three gas inputs here, a calibration gas, a zero gas, nitrogen or, or, or dry air, and a fuel which can be hydrogen helium, hydrogen nitrogen or straight hydrogen. And here is our vacuum outlet from our internal pump. So here we are sampling from a direct injection gasoline vehicle, uh, post turbo pre-catalyst. This is a line for our fast hydrocarbon measurement. Uh, we're measuring alongside the factory lambda sensor and a K-type thermocouple. So this is our 3 meter heated line which is going into our new product of FID50. Uh, in this case we're sampling uh, with a filter attached, this is optional. Uh, this slows the response time down to about 15 milliseconds. Um, we are then logging this data uh, into this laptop here through the analog ports on the back of the FID50. This could be stationed up to 10 meters away, uh, so this could operate in a test cell or in a vehicle very easily. So what I'm going to do now is start the logger and then start the engine. This is the first start of the day, the ambient temperature is around 10 degrees uh, and the engine's completely stone cold. This is another example application of the FID50. We're going to look at the hydrocarbons from a cold start of a domestic natural gas water heater. I'll take you outside to have a look at the sampling point. So we're going to log our data through our laptop here. Uh, we're using the three meter heated line because of the high moisture content in these combustion gases. Uh, and I will put the probe down the flue exit up here. Here is the FID50 measuring the turbulent dispersion of propane tracer gas within the University of Surrey's boundary layer wind tunnel. The FID50 is positioned downstream of the obstacle array, representing a general urban environment and the wake effect of a tall building as a subject of study. The tip of the FID50 sample capillary is positioned at a height equivalent to several floors elevation of the tall triangular tower block. 
The wake of the building tends to lift street level pollution up to higher levels, and this is studied by the tracer gas point of release being at street level, simulating vehicle pollution. The data shows a very rapidly changing concentrations which are being whipped up from the street level up to the upper floors of the tower block. This temporal detail would not be available from a conventional analyzer.